What's up, Course Hero? Welcome back to the channel. We are in the middle of the coronavirus crisis uh, the day I'm recording this. And I'm really hoping that you and your family are safe and not affected by this. And if you are, uh, my heartfelt wishes and thoughts to you and your family. Uh, stay safe, stay sane. Most of us have been asked to stay indoors. So I have nothing else to do but to record. So here I am. And today I am talking to you about how to use Screencast-O-Matic to record your screen and your face. Uh, now this one is going to be a little challenging because I have to use a different screen recording software to show you how to use Screencast-O-Matic. That being said, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Filmora uh, to show you so I'm using Filmora right now to record my screen and I'm going to show you how I use Screencast-O-Matic for my initial screen recordings and then why I edit them in Filmora is going to be the next video. I'm going to open up Screencast-O-Matic. This is what it looks like when it first opens and here what I do is simply hit the record button and I'm also going to show you some of the editing feature that I do in here. So when you hit record, uh, obviously it's going to launch the recorder right now. My webcam is being used by Filmora, so you, I won't be able to use my webcam in Screencast-O-Matic, but you can select screen, webcam, or both. And if you select both, then it'll automatically uh, pull in your webcam feed. And you can also select all of that stuff here. So if I select both, here's my webcam feed in the bottom right corner. It's not going to pull it because it's, like I said, it's already being used by Filmora. But if it wasn't, then you'll see it here and you can select uh, different webcams uh, depending on what's connected to your computer. Uh, there's also a draw and zoom tool that I really like. So if I uh, click on that, this drawing pen opens up and I can select a different color. I can annotate on my screen similar to how I did it, this in the clapboard video, which I'll put a link in this video so you can check out how to use clapboard as well, which is also a screen recording software mainly for Google Chrome. So I do like the draw, uh, draw and zoom feature and I can just hit erase and also get rid of this pen and then I can hit the record button and um, then it'll start recording your screen. You can kind of control this recording area on where you want to record it. So I can zoom this up all the way to the top or I can just record part of the screen if I wanted to. So that's pretty neat. So that's for the webcam feature. Again, I won't be able to show you because my webcam is currently in use. But let's go back and show you some of the editing functionality that I like to do in Screencast-O-Matic before I export things out to Filmora to do further editing. Now, this is a little more complicated process. You can do everything in either one of these softwares. I just like to do it uh, in conjunction because of the advanced editing features I have in Filmora, which I don't have in Screencast-O-Matic. But you, don't, you definitely do not need both of them. This is just me being overly complex with everything that I do. Let's uh, go into one of these uh, recordings here. So I recently had uh, published a video on how to use Teams. I can open this one to show you. And then here, what I can do is I can hit edit and that'll edit this recording. And some of the features that I really like is you can, you know, check, uncheck narration, you can add music. So we'll start in the menu here. And then you can also show your cursor. So if you're show, sharing your screen, you can show the cursor that's all on the screen or you can hide the cursor. So you see there's a cursor right here from my recording. If I uncheck this box, this cursor disappeared. And if I check this box, it comes back. One of the most primary reasons why I like to use Screencast-O-Matic over Filmora for recording is it lets me split the feed between the webcam and my screen here. So that allows me to move myself around anywhere I want post-production. In Filmora, I can only do it during production, which means right now while making this video, I can move myself around. But once it is the file is processed, it is exported as one big file where your screen and your camera feed are the same and you cannot split the two. And that is one of the main reasons why I like Screencast-O-Matic and also because it was it's dirt cheap so why not invest in a software that allows me to do a little bit of that and i could technically do everything in screencast-o-matic it's just me being a little more 
uh, precise with what I need and that's why I invested in Filmora and truth be told I bought Filmora first and then found out about Screencast-O-Matic because I found out that I could not split the feed so I went on the hunt to find something that could allow me to do that and when when I did find Screencast-O-Matic I was like boom let's do this and I still continue to use Filmora because I invested the time in learning both of these softwares so I can move my webcam feed I can show or hide my webcam there might be parts of your video where you don't want to show your webcam or your face you can hide that and then you can also add captions you can uh, upload captions from an SRT file or a speech to text and you can choose which language there's tons of languages to choose from right here and then you can also do blank captions I have never really uploaded captions but I can see the benefit of using captions so that's for the captions part this area here is kind of like your canvas where you can annotate you can edit stuff so let's go through all of that say for example here I want to point an arrow on this top menu here what I can do is I can go to tools so I can go to tools I can go to overlay and these are all the overlays you can add so I can add an arrow and then simply draw an arrow here once I have drawn that arrow I can customize it change the style of it and if I don't like this color I can go into customize and change the color to whatever your brand color is or maybe you just have a particular color in mind that you would like to use for your arrows you can do that you can also change the start and end so here's the start and here's the end so I can change that around and then move this arrow around make it bigger or smaller now the cool thing here is that I can also control when this arrow should appear and when it should disappear so to do that I can hit this little magnifying glass zoom in on the timeline and then at the bottom here you can see I can control the in time and the out time of this arrow so that's how you can add elements onto your canvas I only added one but if I wanted to add multiple arrows what I can do is I can copy this so I'm gonna copy this overlay go back here and paste it and once I've pasted it I want it to appear and disappear at the same time and now I can move this you can see now there are two arrows and now I can point them at different places and then let's play this video right I'm gonna move the audio part out so you don't hear my echo you see they both appeared at the same time and now they're both going to disappear at the same time how cool is that right easy to do similarly you can overlay anything else on top of your video even in the same spot so if I go back here and overlay some text and then just type it here now same concept here you can go into styling and you can choose your font your color background color size highlight all of this text formatting is in here so for less than 50 bucks less than 25 bucks a year product it is very powerful on what you can do with it right now I personally did invest in the higher priced one which was four bucks a month so that's about 50 bucks but that gives me the ability to use this on any device not just my computer but also they have an app so you can use it on your uh, Android or Apple device and then you also get automatic backups so you your videos get uploaded to their servers so again dollar 65 or 85 I think let's go to screencast-o-matic and take a look so it's dollar 65 a month for the deluxe one and four bucks a month for the premiere one and I really haven't even used most of these features other than using the iPad to record videos but everything else I really don't care about I think it was more of an impulse buy but you should be completely fine with the dollar 65 a month and it's billed yearly so let's hop back in here that was it for the text part so that's how you can do overlays now let's say I want to blur something what I can do is go back into tools overlay and select a blur and here's the blur box and I can just hover over this to anywhere I want expand it and now that part gets blurred and I can control how much of a blur I want so I can go to with 100% opacity that means you can't see anything or I can decrease it to 5% or less and with each element you can control when it enters and exits the screen so maybe I can move this blur back a bit once I hit OK around right here uncheck the narration and then go back and hit play so you'll see here's the blur and then it disappears so it's very easy to add all these different annotations now let's go through some of the other stuff you can do there are a lot of times that I want to cut certain sections of my video so I can do that too say I want to cut this part I'm going to go to tools start my cutting process and now there are a couple of ways you can do this I basically just drag the part that I don't want and I'll hit OK and when I hit OK that part gets cut and you can see it's disappeared now if I hit Control Z I can bring it back 
the software also knows when it det it can detect silence for example here there was some silence and instead of hitting the cut i can hit, simply hit this exclamation mark and ask screencast-o-matic to cut the silence so i don't have to take those extra clicks i can also go to tools and hide and then hide the cursor and webcam but i have those controls here so i don't really use them from the tools tray you can also insert a new recording on top here or an existing recording or you can pause this recording you can in uh, or sorry you can insert a pause you can insert another video on top of this i usually like to use it as whenever i'm inserting gifs into my videos so i'm going to show you an example of inserting another video and i can choose from their stock library because i have the premiere package so actually let's do that i'm going to show you their stock library all right i'm logged into my account so now i can click on this send it to the editor it's a 31 second video and now it's going to overlay it on top of my existing video or it, it actually insert it not overlay it insert will happen right here drag the bar to reposition it's okay i just want the insert right there now it's copying the file from their stock library and here it is inside my screencast-o-matic so just to show you what this looks like it goes from my video straight to this and let's say i only want so i'm going to cut this part and only leave a few seconds and now if i play this we'll see what it looks like it goes from my video to the forest back to my video and just like that i was able to insert another video clip on top of the one that i'm already using so instead of adding this as an insert you can also add this as an overlay and in overlay i can again select a video go to stock library again real quick if you're new to the channel consider hitting the subscribe button so you get notified every time i release a new video and pick the same video but in this case what's going to happen is this video will be overlaid on top of your existing video instead of having to insert it in between clips and now i have overlaid it the overlay is right here and if i hit play this will show you that the video appears on top of your existing video instead of replacing your existing video those are some of the cool things you can do again out of the box functionality there's nothing complicated here and a super cheap software on top of that that's why i love it i'm going to hit ctrl z remove that overlay so that's the difference between inserting and overlaying with insert you're actually inserting stuff in between your existing recordings with overlay you're just adding a layer on top of it narrate lets you do voiceovers on top of your recording so maybe you are doing a powerpoint presentation you can share your screen record the powerpoint first and then narrate on top of that powerpoint uh, i usually do it simultaneously but some people like to just record their screen first and narrate on top of that so narration is available in case you like to do that you can also replace videos and freeze frames i've never used this so i really don't have anything to add here the next is speed and this is great if you are making like a time lapse video or maybe you're typing something on the screen you want your users to see it but you don't want to you want to increase the speed of your typing so you can decrease the length of your actual video you can go to speed and speed up and then again same concept you just drag it as much as you want it to speed up so just this frame right here and then you can select how fast you want it to go 2x 3x 4x it goes up to 10x speed and that will basically remove the audio from that clip and just leave the video part in there and then the last two are you can add a transition so if you're transitioning from screen to screen you can add a transition here and you can choose between all these different styles so let's pick kaleidoscope i'm going to increase the time let's go with three seconds and see what that looks like all right so that was pretty cool i like that transition what i'm going to do is delete the transition add it here and this time i'm going to select a different one and add it for 1.3 seconds and let's take a look all right so transitions are pretty cool i really haven't played with them because i do all of my transitions in filmora but you can see that they are fairly easy to do and then the final thing is once you're done with all of the transitions overlays editing cutting your video you can simply hit done and then once you hit done you have the option here to save it as a video file or upload it to screencast-o-matic the second option will only be available if you're on the premiere plan and then there are more publishing options for you as well you can upload it straight to youtube vimeo google drive or dropbox now i've already saved this as a video file but i'll show you what happens is when you select save as video file you can choose the type between these three these four actually mp4 gif flv and avi 
file name folder cursor and also captions and for quality i usually go with the higher uh, one which is the largest file but you can also go with normal now this one is a 13 minute and 50 seconds video if i go back to my recordings here so the 13 minute video was approximately 100 mb so the sizes aren't that huge even for their big size uh, which they call the higher better quality file which is higher uh, size it's really not that big and then on the top here you can back this up uh, I have uh, stopped automatic backups but you can enable them if you wanted to you can see if there are any tasks running a running task is when you start converting your screencast-o-matic file into a video file that's when it will show a running task and you can have 10 different of these edited and converting at the same time and then here is a version history that shows you all the different changes that you have made so I actually sorry a published history so you can see each and every video when you have published it and then language changes you can change your language here and then finally any updates so you can see there's a new version I can download that right here and there you have it course heroes that is how you can use screencast-o-matic and I'll put all the links in the description below next video is going to be how do I use Filmora in conjunction with Screencast-O-Matic and the whole setup is really cheap. Screencast-O-Matic is less than two bucks a month. That's like 24 bucks for the year. And Filmora, the lifetime license is about 70 bucks. So you, under $100, you get these two great softwares. And I'll tell you during my Filmora editing, I touched on this a little bit during this video, but also during the Filmora video, I'll show you the reason why I don't use Filmora for everything and why I use it mainly for editing and Screencast-O-Matic for recording. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, to get notified when that video comes out, make sure you hit the subscription bell or the subscription button and the bell icon. And I will see you on the flip side. Keep creating and stay safe.